Hello and welcome to Rise of Cultures. This time we have met a new character and we're fighting the first battle against him at Empire Ridge on the campaign map. Let's start here from the west and um, as usual we'll start out on a small map here. We have uh, a 6x6 so uh, let's just use the space we have and uh, give some error damage and have some archers to support it all and we should be quite frankly good. Right, the crit hit here from the the catapult. Well, we're starting off pretty good, and those light infantry here doesn't really stand a chance. And we have squeezed out a lot of the extra units here, so we should be good when these arrive at the front line. Though we're having having to be there a little slowly, but that's not to worry too much about because we'll have all those here in just in time to finish the battle. Let's move on to the second one. For the second one, let's take the center here and uh, well, basically we'll do, do the same thing. You see here how they spread out their light infantry. Uh, it shouldn't really matter for how we set up and we should be good with how we start as well. This time let's pause a little little uh, because then they can attack here in unison, which is great for us, because, there is, well, let's just admit it, we hit those, those archers here way harder, and they have no chance against the matched forces that we sent at them, and we can have all surviving units here at the ranged troops. Let's move on to the third battle. And here we are at the final battle. And they put it up in two waves, it shouldn't uh, matter much to us, but we should be able to diminish these troops quite painlessly. But on a difference to what we did at the second battle, we'll not wait for the reinforcements to come because we want them to keep those occupied and have them throw a little less at our infantry because they can handle one group quite easily but not two. And as it's the same formation, though we have, well, a little more than half of the light infantry, they should be quite able to handle this themselves. So we'll focus on the, these axe throwing men. Uh, well, there isn't a lot of backup behind these, but they are still great to doing what they do best. I will say thank you for watching this video and hope to see you again next time. And let's just say goodbye to Charlemagne before moving on.